Hello, Dolphin fans. Welcome to JUDolphins.com. We're talking JU volleyball here. Josh Ellis with head coach Sean Kupferberg. Dolphins are on a record-breaking 12-match uh, winning streak after sweeping the weekend against Stetson and at Florida Gulf Coast. That Gulf Coast match went uh, five, match, uh, five sets, making it a 3-0 record this year in five-set matches as opposed to last year when the Dolphins were 0-5. Also in that match, a record-breaking session by Shelly Walworth. The senior libero goes for 46, which is the, now a match single record. For JU, also Brooke Singleton had her career day with 25 kills, along with 16 digs. That got her Player of the Week honors. The second time this year that JU has had two players named Player of the Week, that hasn't happened since 2002. So, Coach, let's talk about that right now. Uh, that match against uh, Florida Gulf Coast. First off, how is that going when you're down two sets? What was the talk in the huddle, and then how did it go from there? Well, I mean, we were down two sets, but we had statistically the advantage in almost every category except for uh, serving. So uh, we just talked a lot about just getting more consistent from the back line and uh, putting more balls in play and just controlling our side of the ball and, and doing what we could, and the results would fall where they would be. Now, you were telling me that a lot of the girls, are they know the streak is going on. Do you think that's that's been a driving force with this team? Uh, there's a lot of resiliency going on, but does that streak have a lot to do with it? Um, I don't think so. I mean, they like to talk about it every once in a while. Um, I never hear them talk about it besides uh, at, at the end of a game or just uh, joking around with their friends. But um, but I, I don't think it really has that much to do with what's going on. They're just uh, a lot calmer this year and, and just taking challenges as they come and, and staying confident throughout the games. Well, you're talking about uh, calmness, and that I think that starts with from your senior leadership. I mean, if you look at it, you've got Shelly Walworth who leads the league in digs. Uh, and it just moved into the top ten now as, as well in the nation. You've got uh, Nikki Kent, who leads the league in blocks, and now you've got Brooke Singleton having a career season. Do you think that everybody kind of falls off of their feet as far as you say that calmness goes now this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, the seniors have done a great job of just staying consistent and uh, solid all the way through the year. We know what to, we're going to get from them every single game, in and out, and um, they've done a great job in those around them. Um, our, our whole team's just getting older as in general. Um, all those kids that are juniors now are, are all stepping up and playing at big points in the game, and um, and they're all staying calmer than they were last year. So I think everybody getting older helps, but definitely the seniors are, are doing a great job stepping up. Okay, let's talk about this week coming up. You've got USC Upstate, one match only this week. Talk about Upstate a little bit, and also talk about just having one match on the schedule this week to kind of help out with the health of your team. Yeah, um, Upstate, uh, they're a little bit down there in the schedule, but they've uh, stepped up lately. They took a, a match off of East Tennessee State and gave us all we could handle here at home. So um, we're, we're getting ready for a battle up there, but it's only one match, which is nice. It's going to be uh, give us a little bit of time to rest all of our, our banged up bodies. But, um, but I think that it'll be a good, good match. Um, it should be a tough match. Um, they're playing really well right now. Okay, and then of course you've got that one road match and the next week comes down with Belmont and Lipscomb. What do you do as far as the team goes not looking past this weekend? Because as you said, upstate, it, at anybody's place you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, Belmont Lipscomb so far away right now. It's two weeks away. We, we've learned this season we don't even know who's going to be on the court in two weeks. So, um, so we're just waiting to see. We're taking one week at a time. Um, we got you, Upstate right now, and, and we're planning for them. We're doing film on them, and, and just trying to make sure we we keep our eye on the ball and not not look past anybody. Okay, coach. Thank you as always. Good luck this week, fans. This match uh, this week against Upstate will be on Saturday at three o'clock. Check on judolphins.com to see if it's available. Asun.tv and the weekly notes to see what's going on. If it is not, then make sure you check back to the website to to see the results and get ready for things next week. Thanks for stopping by.